In this question, we're asked to find the scalar equation of a plane that contains these two lines. The scalar equation takes on this format, where a, b, and c are the components of the normal vector to the plane. A normal vector is just a vector that comes out of the plane or goes through the plane and hits it at a 90 degree angle. So if we think about our plane containing these two lines, here's the direction vector of these two lines. And we know we can use the cross product with two vectors to find a third vector that is perpendicular to both of them. So a quick picture, if we have a plane here and we've got one line on our plane and another line on our plane, we want a normal vector that comes out of the plane at a 90 degree angle like that. That normal must be 90 degrees to both of these two lines. So all we have to do is take the cross product of 3, negative 3, 1, negative 1, and negative 2, 0, and negative 2. The cross product of these two direction vectors will get us our normal vector, which will provide a, b, c, a, b and c, and then we just use one of these points to find d. So I'm going to cross product these. There's many ways to do the cross product, but here's how I do it. I cover up the first column and then cross negative 2 minus 0, so it'll be negative 2. Then I cover up the second column and I do 6, negative 3 times negative 2 is 6, minus 2, which is 4, but I make it negative because it's the middle term. And then I cover up the third column and I do 0 minus negative 2, which is 2. So there is my normal vector. I'm going to plug those in for my a. So negative 2x minus 4y plus 2z plus d equals 0. The coefficients here, again, a, b, c, are the components of the normal vector. Now I know that if these lines lie in my plane, they must lie on this equation. So I'm just going to pick one of the points, plug it in for x, y, and z, and solve for d, and we're done. So I'm going to plug in 1 for x, minus 4, 0 for y, plus 2, 4 for z, plus d equals 0. What do we get? Minus 2, plus 0, plus 8 is 6, plus d equals 0. So d equals negative 6. And our final equation is negative 2x minus 4y plus 2z minus 6 equals 0. Of course, we could divide this whole thing by 2 because that will just be, um, we've got 0 on the other side. So I can make this negative x minus 2y plus z minus 3 equals 0. And that is the equation, the scalar equation of our plane. Again, if it contains the two lines, just do the cross product of their direction vectors. That gives you the normal vector and plug in one of the points to solve for D.